Um, so this is my new home studio that I'm setting up and I'm all excited because uh, that Michaels is actually within a walking distance from me. So it takes about 20 minutes. Um, it's like up at 94th or 5th up there, but it is within walking distance. And I'm so, everybody says you're so glad to see me smiling again. It is, I do, I feel, I feel happy because I, I'm starting to start, it's starting to feel like home. Cause really, it isn't really home until you can start crafting so, again. Um, the thing is, I have a video basically due today for Faber, and it's not done because I didn't have the right materials, and I needed to go get Slurpees so that I could do some crafting, and then I needed to go to Michael's to get the rest of the items. So I thought I would show you what I bought for Michael's and unpack my trolley, and then... Um, if you have some questions. So yeah, let me just start off with the Michaels itself does have two floors. It doesn't have three, it only has two. The ground level floor where you walk in is all framing and then you go down the escalator into the basement and there's no reception there by the way. So they have to have their own Wi-Fi so that you can text or look things up. So um, that being said, it isn't as large as the Suburban Michaels. Not a surprise, right? The prices were all the same Michael's prices, which kind of is a surprise considering that with New York rent, it's gotta be really expensive for them to be there and to have that kind of square footage. But there was a very large kids department. There was a home decor department. The scrapbooking section seems a little small. Um, the bead section's definitely a lot smaller than what I'm used to seeing in the suburban Michael's. There was a huge floral crafting section which I can't imagine why that is a thing. I don't, who needs, who needs that many fake flowers anymore? I don't understand why so much of the real estate is given towards fake flowers when who does that? Right, you feel me on that one? Like who, who does that? Like more yarn, um, that's because that's what we need is more yarn. Uh, anyway, so they also have a little uh, cake decorating aisle. It's not huge, but it's there. And then um, there was also like a little party crafting aisle. Dolly says, Daryl and I should plan a day trip into the city to hang out with you. Yay, that'd be fun. Yes, yes, yes. So in true disclosure, one of the things I needed to go buy at the Michaels was some party supplies because I'm using recycled materials for this craft that I'm doing for a brand. But now that I moved, I don't have anything in the recycling bin, so I have to buy it from scratch and pretend it's recycling. But you get the idea. So anyways, I had to get some transparent basket wrap. Now, if you're a crafter, you love this stuff because you can die cut it. I haven't tried it on a machine. I'll have to try that. But you definitely can um, gather it and make it into flowers. And what it is is, you know, it's like Easter, Easter cello. But look how pretty it is. So this makes wonderful flowers and like under the sea items. And I even did a thing on using uh, recycled beach glass and this to make faux dichroic glass. Dan Tella says, I think paper flowers are more in vogue than silk. I think you might be right. I know I love things that are iridescent and sparkly. So let's see, that's my daughter's wrap. Oh, so I bought one of these. This is a paper storage box. By the way, their paper storage supplies, I think were like 60% off. Um, and so I bought one of these just 12 by 12 paper storage boxes, slim line, because I thought exactly I could bring it over here and let's test it out. Will it fit? Oh, just barely. Look at that. But because this is under three inches, I could theoretically get four of these in one of these Ikea cubbies. So I think it'd be, I might want to put like a, a little handle on it because it does, it's kind of narrow, but it would be really handy. So it does fit just barely perfectly. And like I said, I may actually want to put a little wee handle on it. Just punch maybe two holes with the crocodile and then run a little ribbon or something through just to help you slide it out. But that's exactly what I'm looking for because I wanted to be able to take some of the things out of the big plastic containers and put them there. So then the other thing I bought because it was on sale for $5.99 is a roll of easel paper. 
got this easel roll. It was $5.99. It's white paper, 18 inches by 75 feet. I didn't actually get the easel that it goes on. Um, I'm just going to kind of use it to spread out across the table when I'm doing a shoot just so that I have a nice, clear, clean white surface. I also figured that I could just tape it with painter's tape up the wall if I want to do like a backdrop type of look. But for $5.99, a roll of paper is a good thing. Sorry, Martha, don't mean to steal your friends. Okay, the other thing I bought, I love cheap things, it's great. Um, I bought an eight inch wooden embroidery hoop. This was $1.49 because I'm going to use so these little things, we're gonna make a little jellyfish. And I'm gonna make three little jellyfish and make a mobile using this as the hoop. So I had to pick up one of those. Also to go inside the jellyfish are some sparkle pom-poms. I do love sparkle pom-poms, I'm not gonna lie. They're like little animals, they're so cute. Yeah, I'm hoping it turns out cute. It's all in my head, I haven't made one in real life yet, but I'm getting there. And then see one of these, will also go inside. Huh, look, it's already halfway there. Like, if you just do this, you're halfway to jellyfish land already. Am I right? It's so cute. So I'm gonna paint the inside with glitter glue and then basket wrap and then like put some of that inside. Isn't that cute? Okay. So, moving forward. Other things I bought. For my daughter, and maybe for me, I might steal it. This is the Doctor Who coloring book. What? Yes. Look at that. There are weeping angels. And look at that. There are doctors in there and Daleks and all kinds of fun stuff. So um, mom, or she says to me, Mom, I don't have any markers or anything. <coughs> and I said, well, here's the deal. I will buy you a set of markers if I can review them first. So we'll be playing with these on Periscope very soon. These are the Recollections 24-pack brush markers. Okay, now here's the thing, friends. You know that markers can either be super cheap or ridiculously expensive. These fall under the super cheap category. This was $5 for 24 markers. Now they're brush tips. You get 24 colors. I don't know how they're gonna work. But what we're gonna do is crack these open when I get back from my reunion next week, and we're gonna see how they work. I also had to buy some dry erase markers for a write-on wipe-off board here. Cutterpunk says, I just picked up a giant pack of the Recollections gel pens. I saw those. I wonder if they're good. So um, I also bought a new stencil roller from Plaid because Remember I told you about that? That's my spinner. I'm gonna paint it. And I'm gonna paint it with that roller brush right there. Because I need, I need a little color in the corner. That's how that's gonna work. So, because there's a lot of white in here, and the fact that that's not exactly white, it's off-white, makes me a little crazy. Oh, Bonnie says they're not the best. Well, you know, that's why you test them out to see how you feel about them. What are they good for? What are they not good for? Sometimes, I think Lindsay Wyrick just put a, a video out about the, um, something about the, something about the economy of something. Anyways, the idea is that you can spend a lot of money on cheap supplies and end up spending more money than if you just bought good stuff to begin with. Now, here's my deal of the day, guys. So these are the Recollections Spray Inks. I only saw two colors left. They're made in Taiwan. Normally these are $8 a piece. These were on sale for 75% off. So anything that says color wash at Michael's right now, 75% off. Papers, embellishments, inks, stamp pads, anything that is the color wash brand, 75% off. So these end up being like three bucks. So I bought a couple more because I thought, well, it's worth trying that out. Oh, and Linda says all the boho was too. I didn't see that, but it wouldn't surprise me. Woodblock stamps, yes, so now's a good time. I also had an idea, I has, do you know how many gajillion rainbow looms I had back in Ohio? Like a huge box. Do you know how many my brought or dot with her? 
None. None. So I went from having like two boxes like this filled with rainbow looms to nothing. So I bought one because I have an idea and I thought little teeny rubber bands would be the best. Dana Joy loves my facial expressions. Thank you. I'm just, I get so upset about things. I also bought some baking cups. Here's the goofy thing. When you're doing kids crafts, you end up using a lot of coffee filters, craft sticks, pipe cleaners, and of course, baking cups. So I had to get some of those. And did I just mention pipe cleaners? Because I bought those too. And of course, here's the thing. Does anybody remember when you were a kid and pipe cleaners like basically came in one color, they were like an off-white and they were chenille, right? They were really soft, but they were also like this big. Do you remember that when you were teeny? And you would use them for crafts, but mostly, yeah, they were actually pipe cleaners. It wasn't just called that, it's what it really was. So now, uh, what we have here are chenille pipe cleaners. They're not really chenille, and they're not really for cleaning pipes. It's all a lie, but that's what they're calling them. And, um, but these are iridescent and sparkly, so they will match my basket wrap. Full spectrum, giant pipe cleaners. Yeah, I've seen the ones that are super huge. They're like bottle brushes. They're that big, and they're actually really soft and fuzzy, too. So I'm almost to the bottom. I also got a little bit of curling ribbon, and this is another one of my crafty staples when I'm doing crafts with and for kids. You can always use a little bit of curling ribbon, and for 79 cents, get a lot of goodie out of it. So the last thing I'm gonna share with you, and this is gonna be another, ooh, we might have to have a little parry about this even later on today. This is tissue paper. Now, are you excited about that? Probably not. But on the Michaels website, they have art tissue paper, and it's called Full Bleed. So one of the things that happened to me yesterday was I was trying to do a craft, and I got out crepe paper streamers. Note, crepe paper streamers. And I wet them down because in my world, those always bleed like nobody's business. They give up the dye that's on them. It saturates the paper. You can make paintings. So I was going to use this. But guess what? The new pipe cleaners are flame and bleed resistant. Okay, so I'm, I, I get the flame resistant thing. We don't want the house going up in flames. But come on, people. I need the bleed. I do. Because let me show you what happens if they don't bleed. This is supposed to be a lovely rainbow. Womp, womp. I got this little la sad, lame bleed out. Anyway, um, so that's my little haul for today. You saw that I got some kids craft stuff and some general stuff and some things that we'll be trying out soon. And now I'm gonna go and actually get started on this little jellyfish craft and see if I can't knock it off in a short time. So it'll be great. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Periscope rebroadcast. Make sure you follow me at Craft Test Dummy over there so you can see them live and participate. Thanks for watching and have a crafty day.